Welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for those of you who have recently split up with the Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising, and you would like to know if there's a possibility to get them back in your life. You would like to know if they still have feelings for you, and if there's a potential to repair or reconcile the relationship. There's also an assumption that you were in a serious relationship with this person. It could be a man or a woman in the first place. So please, guys, this has to be that you had a serious, like, let's say, long-term partnership or a marriage or relationship with this person. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're watching the video. It would be nice. And we are going to look at, there also is an assumption that you are in contact or you have a potential to be in contact with this person. This is the sun, moon, rising. This is for the period between more or less now and the middle of April. I'm trying to frame the time for March 15th until April 15th. We are going to look at how the Taurus elemental sign feels right now. We are also going to look at what the Taurus elemental sign, what they want right now. We're going to look at what you can do. We're also going to look at if they're in a relationship, kind of what are the prospects that is serious and they have moved on. And finally, we're going to look at the overall situation and see if we can come up with some strategies for you. So let's go ahead and get into this guys and let's see where we are again don't forget to like share and subscribe just hit the button like this is Taurus Sun Moon and Rising Sign so these are all major arcana by the way uh, it looks to me like the Taurus if you were involved with the Taurus Sun Moon or Rising Sign Right now, they are feeling a combination of liberation, uh, a combination of being pleased with themselves, a combination of feeling like they are on top of the world and in control. And then on the other side, a type of reluctance. They're trying to reassure themselves that everything's okay, that they made the right choice, that they're doing the right thing. They're, they're in the process of convincing themselves of this. They want to believe it themselves, but they're not quite sure. It's more like a mind over matter situation. Uh, it looks like the Taurus is also missing their former foundation. In some respects, they are missing their former, former life, especially if it was in a committed marriage or partnership and it involved children they're trying to find their footing again without their family and without this uh, family foundation and family dynamic they may not be okay with the split but they're trying to convince themselves that they're okay especially if you if you split with the Taurus if you're the one who left the Taurus and they didn't have a choice initially uh, Yeah, it feels like a back and forth. So there may have even been some confusion about when you split, how you were split, why you were splitting. It may have felt like it was coming more from your side. So if it was coming more from your side initially, uh, the Taurus is feeling very insecure. If they are the ones who left, they're trying to convince themselves that they've done the right thing. Especially if there was a lot of confusion and reluctance around the split with the Taurus. So let's see what else we can find out about what they want right now. And this is for the Taurus elemental sign for the middle of March until the middle of May. So what they want right now, they're not sure about what they want. Uh, and it feels like they're experimenting. They're trying to figure it out. They're not absolutely sure what the next step should be for them. They're in a, a position of hesitation, by the way, uh, and reluctant. So I would say if you would like to reconcile with a Taurus, elemental sign, sun, moon, or rising, or if you would like to reach out to them and you would like to repair uh, any discrepancies or damage that you felt happened when you split, 
it looks like it can be an okay time to reach out to them, but when you reach out to them, you really have to be very specific in how you approach them and in what you say. Otherwise, it will be a high potential for you to have arguments and fights and continued uh, uh, disputes with them, especially if you haven't thought through well what you want to say. If you're seeking closure, same situation. You have to be very clear about uh, what it is that you want to, to vocalize with them. You cannot do it off the cuff and you can't do it spontaneously. It has to be a planned interaction with them. So this is with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Arising. We are going to look at if they've moved on, if they're starting to look at another partnership or relationship that they might be involved with in a serious way in the next month through the middle of April 2018. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to go ahead and keep those out. So you guys might hear that there's some construction outside of uh, my place here. It's quite loud. No. I would have to say excuse me, right offhand, that the Taurus elemental sign has not really been able to move on in a decisive way with the new partner. And they haven't really been able to move on from this relationship that they would have had with some significant other in the recent past. Uh, they're still in reflective mode. They're still in a pensive mode. They're still trying to Reconcile the situation in and of itself. It's like they did it. They did not want this split even if they were wrong even if they did things improper or unfair or incorrect and they tried to gloss it over they did not They wanted stability more in a partnership than to be alone and this may be why uh, we were picking up earlier in the reading that uh, that there was some reluctance. They want their stability back. They want their foundation back. They want this partnership back and they're missing it. And they're also doubting if they can achieve this with anyone else, what they're looking for, what they desire. It, it's the hard truth. I'm getting it's the hard truth. It's a hard uh, place. It's a stable place. It's a place that has roots, a place that has roots. They want, they want someone with roots with them. They want history with a person, which is, you can't reconcile that. If you split up from a relationship with someone you had history with, you're probably forced to meet someone new. And then therefore you're starting from scratch. You're starting from the beginning. And they do not want this situation. So the Taurus very well, the Taurus elemental sign, Taurus sun, moon, and rising very well might be trying to come back, reconcile the situation, sorry for that. Or they might be trying to, look up old friends not necessarily not necessarily for a relationship but they might be trying to look up old friends because they want this foundation they want to they want something solid with roots with history so if you're looking for strategy let's see where you are guys again the taurus might be looking for someone to fight for them. So if you want to have your Taurus back in your life, whether you're a man or a woman, it's almost like the Taurus wants you to chase them. They want you to chase after them. It's, it's almost like they want to put you in a situation where you have to prove your love to them, where you have to prove your dedication to them, where you have to prove your loyalty to them which seems counterintuitive, especially if you've already separated. But they are looking for this. They are looking for someone to fight for them and to show them that they were valuable in some capacity. So if you're trying to reconcile a relationship with a Taurus man or woman, a Taurus sun, moon, and rising, and you still want to be grounded and keep grounded, have a strategy if you're going to approach them or talk to them 
Be very specific in what you want to say. Rehearse it, even rehearse it if you need to. Um, reach out to them in a way that you would let them know that you're still interested in having a relationship, uh, building something back with them, but do not chase them. I would not recommend to chase them, but it does seem like they are open over the next several weeks, next four to six weeks, for having a contact and trying to build that bridge, trying to build a bridge back with them. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you can see most of the cards on the table because I did not feel like it was that imperative to show you, but we do have a lot of major arcana. I'll show you this. For me, this is them wanting that stable foundation. They want a serious, committed partnership or relationship. So in terms of trying to find someone else, they're not in that mode where they are casually dating or searching that's not what the taurus elemental sign is looking for over the next several weeks they want something serious they want something committed and they want to have a partner of value that's what i have for taurus i want my taurus back i'm a fool for love reading over the next weeks until the middle of april 2018 do not forget to like share and subscribe if you did enjoy the video guys and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.